<laughs> Our intros are getting more advanced. Welcome to the third region round one, Astronomy Madness. Mr. Krug coming to you live with my daughters Lydia helping me with the picks and Cammie back there on the big board. We are recording this Sunday night, so excuse the informal baseball hat. I think that's allowed though because it's a weekend. So just to bring you up to speed here, we are absolutely reeling from our first major bracket buster of the tournament. Lydia, do you remember last time what number one seed went down? Uh, George Washington. Yeah, George Washington goes down. So let's take a look real quick. I'm going to share the screen here. Let's look at the probability behind that epic upset. Talk a little bit about it because math and probability just absolutely fascinate me. So we had a major bracket buster go down. This hit Mr. Krug really, really hard. I had G-Dub going the whole way to the championship, but he was defeated by General Douglas MacArthur. And we had 17 total chips in the bucket. 16 of those chips were for the one seed George Washington. So General D Douglas MacArthur, Supreme Allied Commander World War II, only had a 5.9% chance of an upset. Sounds pretty small, right? But let's think a little bit about this. Even 5%, Lydia, Cami, is a one out of 20 chance. Now, every single year, we've got four 16-1 matchups. So if you run the math, that means once every, ooh, let's just say once every five years, there will be a one versus 16 upset. And we are actually statistically overdue for this. I dug deep, deep into the Astronomy Madness archives. My buddy, Mr. Branch, will be proud of me. The last time we had a one seed go down was way back in 2011 to Super Giants, a 16 seed. It actually made it the whole way to the Elite Eight. It was a heck of a run. So let's turn that over to the NCAA tournament. Just recently, for the very first time in tournament history, did we have a number one NCAA men's team get beaten by a 16? And it happened back in 2018. The top seed of Virginia Cavaliers lost by 20 points to University of Maryland of Baltimore. But every upset has a happy ending. Only one year later, worst to first, the Virginia Cavaliers win the entire show. So I think, just to kind of end this one on a high note, our nation's founding father, George Washington, will return as early as 2021. But for now, we have to see how this plays out with General MacArthur. So let's get into the picks today. We got a fun one for you. We got the condiments region. This one was created by Mr. Brannis. And the bonuses here for research were quite easy just to try to get some students involved. This time, anything that was red or close to red was a chip down. Anything, any condiment, white or close to white, was a chip up. And then the 12 seed always gets a plus one. This time that was Lee and Perrin's sauce. So our very first matchup, and this one has got some bad blood brewing. Because here in Pennsylvania, it seems like you're only on one side or the other. This is top-seeded Heinz ketchup against 16th-seeded Hunt's ketchup. And we've been working hard. we got some visuals on this one just to make it more real. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Cammy. It's Heinz, the top seed, versus Hunt's the 16. That's all right. So both of them are down a chip. But what we do in Astronomy Madness is we have to adjust because even the 16 seed always gets at least one chip. So for this round, the bonuses are just going to cancel out. Lydia, we're going to need 16 blue chips in the pot for Heinz. And we're going to need just one pink chip in there for Hunt's. So part of the reason this one is contentious is, of course, Heinz ketchup from the Heinz family, Western PA tradition for Pittsburgh. Although Hunt's, curiously, fares better in Consumer Reports and actually has less actual sugar in it. So Heinz versus Hunt's, you decide. But Lydia's going to decide for us for a second for Astronomy Madness. Hunt's has a 1 out of 17 shot from the upset. Lydia, we really need to shake this good because our viewers at home were concerned last time you didn't really shake it well. That's some good shaking. All right. First pick of the tournament, top of the bucket, very first one you pull, show it to the audience. Thank goodness. All right. We couldn't handle another bracket buster. Cammie Hines is moving on. Good pick there. Good pick, Lydia. All right. Where was that pink chip? 
How close was he? Was he buried down deep there? All right. So our next matchup, I'm going to cover the other major condiments here. Nine-seeded Dijon mustard, trying to pull an upset on slightly favored eight-seeded yellow mustard. So this is the battle of the mustards. So Lydia, since yellow is favored, we're going to need... Oh, yeah, Kimmy, where's our visual app? Oh, we got them, and we got Pat. Oh, this is awesome. Some of these things we didn't have at home, so Cammy actually drew them. That looks amazing. Well done. Well done, my sixth grader. All right, Lydia, we are going to need nine chips in the pot for yellow, and then eight pink chips for Dijon. Okay. The girls asked me if I was going to do background stories on these ones like I did in the Warriors and Commanders region. I really felt that was not necessary this time. The condiments pretty much tell the story themselves. So we relied on Cammy just for the pictures. All right, get him in there, Lydia. So we got almost a 50-50 draw. Winner is moving on to face odds. Right, second pick, we're going bottom of the bucket. Dig down as deep as you can. Really get down in there, Lydia. Get down in there. Okay, I got yellow going on. All right, Dad's bracket doing well. Yellow moving on. Cammy, eight seed, yellow mustard moving on. All right, my dear. Sort those back out. My bracket's doing well. We are straight chalk so far. All right, next up, battle of the condiments of a darker variety. We've got fifth seeded A1 steak sauce going up against Lee and Perrin sauce, a 12 seed. Steph, is Lee and Perrin similar to like a Worcestershire sauce? It's a brand. Brand of Worcestershire. We confirm it right here. All right, so this time Lee and Perrin's is getting a plus one. Not because it's red, it's not, but all the 12 seeds are getting a plus one. So Lydia, we are gonna need 12 blue chips for A1, and we are gonna need, ooh, we're gonna need six pink chips for Lee and Parents. Cammy, let's see the visual. Those are awesome visuals. There's our A1, where's Lee and Parents? That looks really fantastic. Cammy, let me hit you up. What's that? 12 blue chips, six pink chips. All right, Cammy, hit you up with a little sixth grade math here. So if Lee and Perrins has a six out of 18 chance, what percentage do they have a pull in the upset? You can do this. What does six over 18 reduce to? One third. What percentage is one third? Very good. You heard right? We didn't even plan that out. We got that right on the spot. All right. Very good. So blue chip is a one. What do we have? Pink? Do we have a hot chip? Do one fall off? Lydia. All right. So blue is A1, pink is Lee and Perrin's third pick. Lydia, we're going on the left side of the pot, left side. Oh, we got a bracket buster. A oh, that kills me, Lydia. I had A1 going to the sweet 16. Oh, that kills me bad. That really hurts. All right, Lee and Perrin's is going on as a 12 seed in the upset. That one extra chip brought them up to a 33% chance of pulling the upset. And that's exactly what went down. So I got to tell you, kind of interesting. Almost every single year in the men's NCAA tournament, in the second round, we wind up with a 12 versus 13. And it almost always happens in astronomy madness. Could this be the time? Next up, Cammy, we've got fourth seeded mayonnaise against 13th seeded miracle whip. Oh, this is good. So we got the real one for the mayonnaise. And let's check out our miracle whip. Those are awesome visuals right there. Good job there. That looks really good. We basically are up against whatever Aldi has now because we do our shopping at Aldi. Okay, Lydia, both of these are white or close to it. So both are getting a plus one. So we need 14 blue chips for mayonnaise and we need five pink chips for miracle whip. Let's get it going. Steph, what are your thoughts on Miracle Whip? Terrible. Disgusting. Off camera comments, commentary from Mrs. Crew. All right, so we got 14 blues for mayonnaise, five pink for Miracle Whip. All right, this is the last pick of the upper half. We're going right side, over there, right side, right side. Yeah. We're going to have the 12 versus 13 chip. Woo! Dang, I missed that one though too. That's where I picked the upset at. All right, Lydia. All right. I did. I mean, it's got Miracle right in the name. Are you kidding me? I thought I had that one. Mayonnaise, Cammy moving on. Man, they're going to face off with Lee and Perrins. That's going to be a favorable matchup. They got a shot at the Sweet 16, I'd say. All right. 
we're on to the bottom half of the bracket. Now, the seating of this next one, very, very contentious here in the Krug House, also among some of the high school students. We got third seated Jip Peanut Butter against 14th seated Nutella. And I think, all right, we might need the upset here. Cammie, we need the visuals. We definitely have both of these here in the household. For sure we do, for sure. There we got the Jip. Over here we got the Nutella. Cammy, why don't you show us the gold foil of royalty on top of the Nutella? Nutella is very, very high end. Can you get that open, dear? I'm gonna spit up. No, don't get a spoon for this. You need to pick chips, miss. We are not gonna eat Nutella on camera. Yeah, that's what's all about the gold foil right there. So can Nutella bring home the gold in this matchup? Okay, Lydia, we need 14 blue chips for Jip and three lonely pink chips. Thank you, Cammy, for Nutella. 14. 14 blue, three pink. I think a lot of high school students did not read the directions and they were picking the bracket based solely on deliciousness because the amount of high school students that picked Nutella to win this as a 14 seed was sky high. So it doesn't have too much of a chance here. Let's calculate the odds a little bit. Cammy, I have a question for you. So if Jip has 14 and Nutella has three, what are Nutella's chances? Is it three over 14 or three over? Yeah, you know it, girl. All right, Nutella still has about an 18% chance to pull off this upset. Lydia, are we going to get the upset? By the way, Mr. Brannis has Jeff winning it all. So if you pull a pink chip, you're going to crush Mr. Brannis's soul. Off to you, top of the bucket. Mr. Brannis needs blue. Oh my gosh. All right. Show it to the camera. Don't show me, show the camera. Oh, Mr. Brannis survived. All right, he survived around. Sorry, ladies. Sorry, crew girls. Nutella goes down. Oh, Damien, you. that was for you. That's for you, Damien. I got your back. All right. Next up, battle of the barbecue sauces. We got Sweet Baby Ray's as a six going up against one of my favorites. I think this came out back in the late 80s. I remember this one. Bullseye barbecue sauce. Tammy, we're going to need some visuals for this one. You ready at the big board? Stephanie, do any of the results surprise you so far? No, I'm just, I'm glad Merrick worked out of it. Shouldn't even exist, so. How's your bracket doing? I haven't checked on your bracket. Not good. Ah, that's a shame. My bracket's not doing well either. Can we bring those visuals over? Lydia, in the meantime, Sweet Baby Ray's needs 11 blue chips. Bullseye Barbecue needs six, six pink. We got. Okay. These visuals are awesome. I just hope they show up on camera. Those are absolutely fantastic. Wait, how many Nice. Uh, Lydia, pay yeah, attention. 11. 11 blues, six pink. Great job, Cammy. Excellent visuals on this one. All right, so we're into the bottom half. So, so far in the tournament, they call it chalk when just the favored seeds win. And so far, we're chalk except for Lee and Perrins. That was our one big upset so far. All right, Lydia. Shaky good. What? No, you better be careful. We can't have a hot chip compromising the integrity. I'm going to shake this one. Okay, this is our second pick of the bottom half. So, we're going to need left side, Lydia, left side. No, you're other left. Just kidding. That's right. It's left, actually. All right, what do we got? Oh, all right. Favorite seeds. Keep moving on. Sweet baby rays. Going into the round 32 up against Jip. That's going to be a good one. All right. Could we have our first 10 7 upset of the tournament? We haven't had one yet, and it's a staple of the NCAs and Astronomy Madness. This is going to be interesting. We got red cocktail sauce, a seven seed up against white tartar sauce, a 10. So cocktails down a chip, tartars up a chip. Lydia, this is almost fitty fitty right here. We are gonna need nine, oh wait, where are the visuals at, Cammy? Let's see them. Oh man, that looks not, oh, that looks really good. Yeah, yeah, I like that one too. Okay, we are gonna need nine blues for cocktail. We're gonna need eight pinks for tartar. Nine blues for cocktail sauce, eight pink for tartar. So this is almost 50-50 right here. I'm going to do some fast math on my phone while Lydia's figuring this out. So normally, okay, normally tartar would have a 41% chance of pulling the upset, okay? But now, thanks to that, they're up to a 47% chance. Almost 50-50. Shake out, Lydia. Yeah, I can shake Endurance really comes into play when you're picking this many games at once. All right, Lydia, we're going right hand side, right side of the bucket, right side. We gonna have another upset? We about to find out. 
No, not another upset. Mr. Krug misses another game. So tartar sauce, no, I'm sorry, cocktail sauce Cami is moving on. It is carrying a minus one with it, but that did not affect it in round one. Cocktail moving on. All right. I'm not going by taste here, Steph. I'm going by what my gut tells me. I'm going by my instincts, but maybe I should not be going by my instincts. Not going very well. All right. Maybe your instincts aren't that good. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks for that. All right. Our final round one matchup in the condiment region out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You got second seeded Frank's Red Hot up against 15th seeded Tabasco sauce. What we got? I do too. We did just have Red Hot the other day, but we just ran out of it. That looks great. You got the bottle shape just right. Well done. Well done, 11 year old. That looks great. Okay, both of them are down one chip. So this is going to be a rarely seen 14 1 matchup. Second seeded Franks, Lydia, is going to get 14 blue chips. So get on that. 14, okay. 14. And then 15th seeded Tabasco sauce is going to get one lonely pink chip, which seems impossible. But if you think about it, General Douglas MacArthur had even worse odds just the other day, and he was able to upset George Washington. It's been a really quiet bracket so far, just one upset. Could we have a major bracket? What's that, Cammie? Oh, I had tartar sauce going to the Sweet 16. I had it beaten Frank's Red Hot. Ah, that kills me. All right, I don't even care what happens at this point. Yeah, that was really bad. All right, bottom of the bucket for our final pick. Could we have a major upset? Maybe we could, maybe we couldn't. Let's see it. No, oh, not an upset. Franks moves on as a second seed. There are so many upsets for us. I know. Well, you know, probability sets itself. Anytime we have one region where things go crazy, then the next region, it's back to normal. So let's just take the computer back over to the big board here. Are you shaking it right? I think you were shaking it wrong, and I was shaking it right, Lydia. All right, Cam, so you need to take us through this region here. Time ketchup. Yep. Yellow mustard. Yep. Leah and Harry. Mayonnaise. Yep. Sweet baby Ray's. Just peanut butter. Yep. Taco sauce. Frank's red hot. All right. That means we just got one final round, one region to pick, and that is going to be viruses and bacteria. And that is going to be an absolute fever pitch. Pardon the pun. All right, ladies, let's try to play our way out of this one. <laughs> let's see here what we get. All right, until next time, for Lydia and Cami and Nutella, this is Mr. Krug. Hope you're enjoying Astronomy Madness. Peace.